Hey, hey, Facebook Livers and Periscopers, Johan van Ardi, social entrepreneur, business mentor, hanging out with you on this Thursday afternoon, evening, sometimes it might be Friday, depending where you are in the world. It is Thursday afternoon here in beautiful Kauai, and uh, since we, in our vacation ownership, start working on a Sunday, today is more like Friday for me, so we call this Pohana Friday. So I wish all of you a great weekend coming up. Uh, the question is, what is the three best ways to build lasting and residual income? So the three best ways to earn residual income in my book, in my mind, is the first way, well, we all think of, let me first explain residual income for those that's not 100% sure. What I mean with that is lasting income. Um, lasting income, which is from a source, like for example, when you retire. You retire, you have a bunch of money saved up, it's in a stock market or in bonds, stocks, uh, trust funds, maybe even whole life policies. So there's a large sum of money, um, and uh, you um, um, have that bring income to you and you're living off the income from that, preferably so you have a large sum of money left over to will and gift to family or charities or whatever. Um, and some people, of course, use a bunch of that too, especially if you get to live real long. So that is, that is residual income. It's, 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 it's something that produces income for you on a continuous basis. Now, a lot of people don't even have a lot of money saved up in the stock market and stuff like that, but they've got, for example, um, a bunch of businesses where they have ownership in or they have a lot of property, like rental properties, and that is their retirement. You know, that pays, that's the extra income right now. They keep adding more and more from that, and um, they, in, in the end of the day, when it's all paid, those rental payments our income for them. So that is the basis of residual income. So obviously to save money just from being in a job or being in a company to the day that you retire is not the best way to have residual income earlier in your life. To me the best ways to do that is number one and I'm not going to do them, I'm going to do them in order of least important to most important. So number three the, the way for me is to have a business in, in a traditional business, brick and mortar business, or even an online business, and um, and build that so big that when you sell that, there's enough money there that what you invest from that money, you can live from the income. Um, or where you could step down at some time, bring partners in, have them buy you out, but you keep a percentage of the profit, you keep a percentage of the ownership, and so you always have income coming in as long as this company is in business and as long as they produce profit, obviously. So to me, that is a great way. There's a lot of people who do that and have done phenomenally well with it. Uh, Bill Gates is a prime example. Steve Jobs, Apple's a great example. There's so many entrepreneurs um, who own businesses and then step away from it, but still keep some ownership or some property, and some just sell it and, and live from what they have built up in their life. The number two way um, for me is, is, is really is to take, um, is, is, especially if you wanna make money quickly and have residual income early on in your life, is to go and, 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 and make a lot of money really quickly. Now, if you are gonna be one that is buying a rental property, and then having that pay for itself over time, then you're buying another one, buying another one, great way, especially for, to set yourself up for retirement. Um, however, it's not gonna bring you residual income very fast unless you get thrown a lot of money at you, right? Uh, the best way for me is to go out and make a lot of money. Now, where can you make a lot of money really quick? Of course, on the internet, you can invent a product. Um, you have to have somebody that boosted. You can get out the Shark Tank, and if they grab a hold of your product, you know, instant millionaire, um, and uh, they make money out of it, and you do really well. 
um, I have a little clip that I wear and I don't have it on right now. It's a magnetic clip for my glasses, my reading glasses, and it sort of just hangs on there. And this guy was in Shark Tank and <laughs> doing phenomenally well, you know. Um, so, so that is definitely a way to do things. There's other th ways and other jobs that you can do that is more high risk or high stress or very high skill that you can make a lot of money with very fast. Then you can use that money and put that away to live off the income of that or invest that back in the business or into the properties that I mentioned earlier. So to me, that's the second best way. Now, just a couple examples. I'm in vacation counseling. I don't recommend everybody to be in vacation counseling, um, selling and, um, and getting people to spend money when they're not really to spend money, but seeing the value is a really hard job. And it is very intense and you really, really have to be able to handle lots of rejection. Um, and you need to be able to be very good and keep doing the same thing over and over again. Um, but you can make a lot. A lot of money with that business and although you work for a company and work for somebody else the reward is tremendous and they don't like a lot of places in this in the economy don't cut you back when you make too much money the more money you make the more money the company makes and vacation ownership companies totally get that um, you know another thing is that I've just um, I know somebody who's a deep-sea diver who work on ships and stuff like that or who dives for diamonds on the coast of South Africa, you know, those guys make a ton of money really quick. It's very dangerous, but you don't do this kind of thing forever. And you use that money and put it away and put that into a business or like I said, rental properties. That's the second way. Now the best, the very, very best way in, in my mind to do this is to become a network marketer, become a professional network marketer, act like a professional and build your business because the power of duplication is unmatched in anything else in the world. If you pick a good company and you have a good mentor and you have good leaders and there's good product. Now remember the product is not nearly as important as, 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 as the vision of the company and especially most, most important what you do. And what is most important for you to do as a network marketer to make it successful is to be extremely consistent in marketing yourself, branding yourself, and what we call prospecting, you know, finding new people. And the goal is not to try and sign people up. The goal is to try and see who is open for earning extra income and then working with them. And a lot of us is looking at people who's got no money, trying to help them. That's very novel, that's very great. I do that too. However, a lot of us is, are scared at reaching out at people of influence. And people of influence can make your team grow pretty rapidly because they have a lot of respect in the economy and the community. Why is that the best way? Well, in the beginning, you're not gonna make a lot of money out of it like deep sea diving or selling timeshare and maybe getting paid $30,000 in a month or something like that. Um, that's not gonna happen. Um, however, it is a way that you can build it gradually and you can do this while you are doing a regular job or even a timeshare job or be, you know maybe a, being a deep sea diver or being in the defense force or something like that it is something that you only need to spend one to two to three hours per day until you make enough money to go full-time and if you're a good leader and a mentor and your company has good leadership and mentorship your team can grow so big that it will blow your mind away and then that and you and, and here's the, the, the best thing about it now you have two ways to make money from this the one is your business is even when you retire from it or you step back from it, it's going to keep producing income. Um, I go on vacation and I still have money coming in every week from that. The money that you also make, if you pay yourself first and you put that away and you bank that, you can use that money as an investment into rental properties, into stocks and funds like that or any other investment or other businesses that will also produce income, which is a secondary income. And that is really where the main success is. And when you develop a lot of respect in the industry, you can come to people such as me that will also teach you what we do and teach you and help you with mindset building your business online. So long story short, those are the three best ways. Now, what can I offer you? I cannot really help you with the first, um, 
first way of starting your own business, brick and mortar business, I can't really help you with um, timeshare unless you're willing to move to Diamond and come work with us here in a way. Um, and um, I cannot really help you and give you the money to go invest in real estate and I'm not going to put a course out how to invest in that. What I can help you with is to give you the opportunity to be involved in a business opportunity that is phenomenal. Now let me ask you this real quickly. Did you know that, that Amazon just surpassed Walmart as the world's largest uh, retailer? Now second question is, did you, and it's true, did, now the second question is, if you could have invested in Amazon, in Amazon at the beginning, would you have done so? Mm, I wonder what is the answer, right? I have the privilege of working directly with the founder and CEO of a company that is called to be the next Amazon of health and wellness and in, in general, and in general, while serving on the side of massive global cause via the business model of social entrepreneurship. If you would like to learn more, send me an email, coachrugbydo.gmail.com or comment below um, or tweet me or Facebook message me and ask me what is it that I'm doing and what does this opportunity look, to look like. Now, this opportunity, there's no guarantee that you will make a lot of money. The guarantee is though that if you do put in the effort and you are consistent with what you're doing, you will make a lot of money, you will impact a lot of lives. With what you do through your team, you'll create um, a legacy, you'll create financial freedom for, well, they'll create their own financial freedom but with the global cause that we are serving through social entrepreneurship and what we give towards that, um, you are impacting millions of people around the world. Um, this is not about my business and my social entrepreneurship network marketing business. It is just an offer that I extend to you. If you would like to use it, feel free to. I'm just seeing if you're open. However, in my mind and hanging out with a bunch of other network marketers that do all kinds of other stuff not even related to what I do but they're still network marketers that is the best way to build lasting residual income starting now and going forever this is Johan signing off send me an email or a message if you'd like to hear more about that I'd love to share with you also I offer a free coaching session to some people um, who is interested in learning more and to those I offer a follow-up series of coaching which you have to pay for in how to build your business online, how to change your mindset, how to have positive money vibration and how to have the, the, um, the courage to do a video like this. You should have seen me um, five years ago when I made my first video. It was absolutely horrible and now I'm speaking to you and it is fun for me. I love to share. So this is Johan signing off. I'll check with you later. Have a great one. Aloha. All of the best.